on the NAP forum today, I saw a question Patty Dotson asked. Um, she writes, I have a before and after picture I'd like to add to my portfolio. However, I want to attach them side by side so they're one. Now, this is a real quick way we can accomplish this goal. Click on Image, and then from Image, Canvas Size. Now we're going to duplicate, or we're going to double the width of the canvas. So from here, it's 2.5. So if I double that, we're going to make it to we're going to set that to five. Now here's where it's critical. On the anchor point, I'm going to click the furthest left arrow because what I want to do is add 2.5 inches to the right side of the image. Click OK. Now I have two layers here. One is the before, and this is the after image of what I just created. I'm going to click on the after image, holding down my shift key on a PC, the option key on a Mac. I'm going to drag the after image to the right. Let go, and now I have my before on the left hand side, and my after image on the right hand side. And then from here, click on File save for the web and you can save it to any you know, image size that you want. Now that was one way of doing it and after watching this I thought how could we do this to where we can keep one image and make it almost appear like a rollover. So here's a little extra on that. I'm gonna go to my history and just start all over again. So I still have my two images. Here's the before and after. Now this time I'm gonna click on Windows and we're gonna click on the animation button. Now, right now we're viewing this in a timeline. On the bottom right hand side, we're going to convert that to an animated frame. Now, right now I have one frame here and it's going to go for 10 seconds. Let's change that just to make it quicker. We're going to set it for two seconds. And notice it's already set to the after image. Well, if I hide the after image, it's now set to the before. We're going to add another frame. And by adding the frame, we're going to change that to the after image. It's set to once. Let's put this to forever. So now when we play it, let's give it a couple seconds, you'll start to see the before and after. And it's going to continuously play um, you know, for two seconds each. Now you can change it to whatever you want. Click Stop. Now here's the critical part. File, save for the web device. And here we have to save it as a GIF or a GIF. I have everything set and I'm gonna say save and just give it a name. We'll call this Civil War uh, Before and After. Hit enter and now it's done. I'm gonna to go to my desktop and the way we're gonna view this is if I open up a browser window from here, once I have my browser window open, all I want to do is drag the GIF file that we just created into the image and within two seconds you'll see a before and after.